Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, yesterday I made a video where I criticized Floyd Mayweather for, according to reports, agreeing to a rematch against Marcus Maidana. As I made that video, I talked about possible opponents for Floyd Mayweather. At the time, one of the biggest names out there simply didn't cross my mind, and he should have. And that's middleweight champion Miguel Cotto. Let me just say, if you go back and if you look at the first round, the first round of Floyd's fight against Miguel Cotto, it looks even better today than it did the day of the fight, especially now that we have, as a frame of reference, Miguel Cotto's first round against Sergio Martinez. You actually notice the differing styles between Martinez and Floyd Mayweather. Let me point out too, Martinez had been out of the ring for a very long time before the Cotto fight, and the Martinez who shows up for the first round against Cotto is not prime Sergio Martinez. He's Sergio Martinez with a lot of ring rust. But you notice in the Cotto Floyd tape, that there are two great left hooks in the ring that night. There's Cotto's left hook, but there's also Mayweather's left hook. And you'll notice there are times in that first round where Cotto is moving toward Floyd and Mayweather is pivoting on his front leg. Right, I'm telling you folks, it's great stuff by both fighters, right? Well, the point is simply this. Cotto, the middleweight champ, versus Mayweather, the welterweight and super welterweight champion, would be the sport on what I call the top shelf, right? It would be a meaningful matchup between two guys who, quite frankly, will end up in the Boxing Hall of Fame at the end of their careers, right? They'll be in Carmine Basilio country in upstate New York. Well, let me just say this. I didn't understand money fully when I was a kid. I, hell, I don't understand money fully as I make this video, but I understand it more now than I did years ago. And understand the real money is on the back end not the front end, right? The money they give you up front isn't as valuable as the money you get on the back end when you actually own a piece of the action, right? When you own equity in the project, when you are profit sharing, right? Floyd Mayweather is making over $30 million a fight. You know, Floyd really has a choice. He can take that money up front, good for him, or he can give some of that money to quality Hall of Fame opponents like Miguel Cotto, right? make the event bigger, have fans want to pay the pay-per-view money, have the gate double in size, get back whatever he has paid to Miguel Cotto on the back end as part of his ownership of an even bigger event, 
and set himself up even more for the future by building on his legacy by giving us the best events possible right understand there's a problem with Miguel Cotto and it's a big problem it's one of the reasons why quite frankly we love Miguel Cotto and that's that Cotto is a daredevil right you look at Cotto you see him climb Mount Kilimanjaro and while you're celebrating Miguel Cotto right and his success by the time you turn back around you see that he has climbing gear on and he's trying to now climb Mount Everest right understand while we're here in a sport talking about whether or not Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather are ever going to fight. Miguel Cotto has fought Floyd Mayweather. He's fought Manny Pacquiao. And he's even topped that. You turn back around, he's in the ring with Austin Trout. He's in the ring with Sergio Martinez. You dig deeper on Cotto's record, you're going to see he was in the ring with the then unbeaten Paulie Malinaji. You'll see that he's already fought Zab Judah. In other words, Cotto's not a guy who stands still. Cotto is a guy who literally wants to make sure that by the time he's 35, he has taken on many of the biggest challenges in the area code of his weight divisions right there's a chance that the next time we turn around and we look at Miguel Cotto he might be in the ring with Janady Golovkin or Peter Quillen because we know that's who Cotto is Cotto understands what I'm talking about in terms of legacy People remember you by your biggest fights. So if you want to fight Miguel Cotto, you have to jump in at that moment because Miguel Cotto's a risk taker. He's not going to play it safe. Right? If you don't fight Cotto at a point in time, if you don't fight Cotto this fall, Cotto could well announce that he's fighting a big name, the winner of Golovkin versus Gil, or some other guy who is a dangerous opponent, but who, to Cotto, represents Mount Everest at that moment in time. That's what I want Mayweather to do. Because I want Mayweather to think about the real payoff. Right? This isn't just directed at Floyd Mayweather. It's actually directed to everyone in boxing, especially boxing fans. Because we, the public, are the people who create the atmosphere that pressure fighters into meaningful fights. Right? That first Mayweather Cotto fight is a high level fight, but you have a new dynamic since that fight. Right now, keep in mind that fight, much more difficult fight for Mayweather, much more difficult than the Marcus Maidana fight, much more difficult. But now you have Cotto hooking up with a superstar trainer, changing his balance a little bit, moving a bit more around the ring. This is a new style, right? And of course, that championship trainer has trained Amir Khan, currently trains Manny Pacquiao. So you're talking about a situation where it's not just the fighter, Floyd Mayweather, against a world-class Hall of Fame opponent in Miguel Cotto, but it's also the fighter, Floyd Mayweather, against a superstar trainer who, quite frankly, over time, is trying to figure out how to beat the best fighter of his generation. 
right? You know, there's a story, I believe it involves Ray Arcel and the great Joe Lewis, where Joe Lewis, back then, Arcel trained a lot of fighters, and they claimed that Joe Lewis, I think it was Ray Arcel, and they claimed that Joe Lewis, before a fight, with the other fighter in the ring looking at him, right, right around when they touched gloves, they claimed that Joe Lewis didn't even look at his opponent. He looked at Ray Arcel. And he said, you here again? Right? The idea was that Ray Arcel was trying desperately to solve Lewis's mystery. Right? He was trying to crack Lewis's code and he was trying to do it with different fighters. And of course, Joe Lewis was beating all of them. Right? Well, that's the Freddie Roach, Floyd Mayweather relationship conceptually, right? Roach feels that Cotto is improved and can now beat Floyd Mayweather, right? Quite frankly, Mayweather is such a dominant talent in the sport that he has an opportunity to annex the middleweight title by fighting a guy he's already beaten. Right now, my point is Mayweather, like heads of state, like presidents of the United States, like prime ministers of the United Kingdom, needs to realize that the job he does today will set himself up for the future. How much is Bill Clinton making giving speeches? How much is Colin Powell here in the United States making giving speeches? How much is Tony Blair? making giving speeches these days right these guys are really getting paid today for what they did yesterday Mayweather needs to ask himself is his image polished the most by a rematch against Marcus Maidana or would it have extra shine and luster and much more historical significance with a fight against current middleweight champion Miguel Cotto. Right? Quite frankly, in my opinion, Mayweather's star would shine brighter if he were to fight Sergio Martinez at this point. That fight has more intrigue. Right? Did Martinez just have a bad night against Cotto? Shaking off months of rust shaking off a recovery from surgery and multiple injuries or is Sergio Martinez facing father time right that fight would be one we talked about more than Floyd Mayweather against Marcus Maidana so given the amount of money involved given the fact that the Showtime Floyd Mayweather contract is that lucrative right where Mayweather's clearing over 30 million dollars every fight let's hope Floyd has the vision to live up to his nickname of money what Floyd should be doing is viewing the paycheck he receives from this from these fights as a bank he should make it a bank he's an entrepreneur he should act like one with regard to his own career. Miguel Cotto right now is one of the hottest names in boxing after a dramatic coup in taking and surprising Sergio Martinez. Right? Miguel Cotto, quite frankly, has the keys to Madison Square Garden. You mentioned Cotto's name. It's a sellout in New York City. You know that if you don't catch up with Cotto right now, you might open the paper tomorrow and find out that Cotto is fighting Vladimir Klitschko, right? That's the Cotto personality, right? Cotto's idea of a tune-up fight is fighting Austin Trout, right? That's who Cotto is, right? I know many people in the sport have ducked Arislandy Lara. If Arislandy Lara beats Saul Alvarez, I just know Miguel Cotto 
would welcome that fight. Right? You're talking about a guy who fought Zab Judah. Right? You're talking about a guy who fought an unbeaten Yuri Foreman. You're talking about a guy who fought Antonio Margarito twice. If I'm Floyd Mayweather, knowing that I beat him already, knowing that there's an intriguing storyline in the background, that he's now with Freddie Roach, and that he's lifted his game, and just knowing that for all the great things I've done in my unbeaten career, I have never won the middleweight title. I would look long and hard at Miguel Cotto. I would talk with the other people involved in my business deal, the other contracting parties involved in the mix, right? The people at Mayweather Promotions, Floyd's own company, the people at Showtime, and I would say to myself, look, all these other names here, let me at least explore a rematch with Miguel Cotto. Because I guarantee you one thing. Cotto's not going to wait for Floyd Mayweather. We already know that. Right? To the fighters sitting on the biggest piles of money. You have an opportunity to give us the biggest fights in the sport, right? If the promoters can't get it done, if the networks can't get it done, if Miguel Cotto says, after the networks and promoters and managers all talk, look, I'll need five more million dollars to make this fight happen. In my opinion, Floyd Mayweather may want to consider paying that five million out of his own pocket for greater profit participation on the back end. He'll get that money back and more. From the greater size of the event and from the greater size of his legacy, from being in the biggest fights possible. Just a thought. Let me hear yours. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I do think, though, that if I were to poll the people who watch my videos, I'm guessing that if I said which fight would be more meaningful to you, which rematch would matter more to you, Floyd Mayweather against Marcus Maidana at Welter, or Floyd Mayweather against the current middleweight champion Miguel Cotto with Freddie Roach in his corner at middleweight. I'm guessing 95% of you would go in this direction. Let me know if I'm wrong. Leave your messages here and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let's have the discussion. Thanks for stopping by.